Okay guys, uh, what is it? Probably six or seven years later from the original video. Just wanted to do a little update before selling it. Um, yeah, so I did a bit of a, my first YouTube video ever, six years ago, just giving a walkthrough of this bike. And funnily enough, I saw that video the other day and thought, hey, that's pretty funny. I should do a little update. Anyway, so here she is, the KZ750 Twin Bobber Chobler Brat Style Nopper. And uh, yeah, just run you through some of the things that, that we've done. We've, we've gone back to the original front end with polished fork lowers. And this is actually the mag wheel, oh sorry, uh, spoke wheel with a drum off a Honda, maybe I think it's a, a XR 350 or 60 or something, probably from the mid 70s. And yep, so that's been put on there with a, some little brass spaces and a little adapter there. And we've just hooked up a little speedo drive there for the new owner. So, yeah, so. To mount that back on was obviously standard, but custom top tri triple clamp was made for it. The original Japanese style risers that have put about a two inch extension there. And we've got uh, CT110 posty handlebars on there with some um, old school Doherty style levers. And that's pretty cool. Chucked a little trail tech on there for the new owner. so. You will not be getting in trouble and on the front there that's a dixie headlight japanese built um pretty cool old school you know old stock and then so since the video what else have we got ts185 tank which has been re-tunneled to fit over the triple backbone so that worked out pretty cool gives it a bit of a, a bit more of a brat style choppery look and now we've got uh, one and three quarter stainless pipes on there, which have been fabbed up out of an old set of W650 headers, which I've cut and re-welded and then blended in. So, I mean, to fit that on, to get it nice and tight, required a new brake lever, but that's all good. So we've got a BSA, God, don't even tell me, I don't even know. Oil tank on there, which uh, houses all of the electrics. So, if you see under here, then we've got the reg, reg rack. Battery, fuse box, everything neatly, neatly put in there. Uh, chain tensioner, which is the old skate wheel, which just stops it flapping around a bit. And uh, the speedboat inspired vinyl 70s metal flake seat which is you know street cred value ultimate pretty pretty fucking badass um yeah then we've got some highway pegs on there for cruising super cool uh, i believe the shocks i put on there they're off a sportster or something got some moon eyes discs uh fat bob style fender which has been reinforced to run it strutless. Sony microphone as the brake light. Yeah, so it's a sad day to see it go, but uh, you know, on to bigger and better things. But uh, I'll uh, have to do a little ride pass for you guys. Also, um, we've got the temperature gauge on there, which is pretty cool. Uh, that we machined up out of some acrylic, just a timing cover and K&M pod filters. Um, yeah, fuck yeah, pretty cool, eh? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, <laughs> Here's Ramsey, the new owner. About to take the bike away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> it's all good. That dirty fucking kickstart.